go off the right side of Smashville. Yep, that the uh, blast zone is closer on yeah. that side, and so. Oh, FD, and I do think this might be a little bit better for Meta Knight because yeah. he can cover the landing so well and kill you off of it. But moving into this one, yeah, future already opening up a pretty good damage. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay. he grabbed it. I was about to say that would have been so unfortunate for him, but I know I wasn't alone in thinking he was dead. But yeah. But it looks like Future does have his combos down. He already got Quan to 60%, but honestly, I don't think Quan cares about any percent. No, this is just rage at this He's point. He's already at kill percent. Like, it's absolutely insane, but Future not going to let that happen with the dash attack already opening, but I think that was really good reserve. I feel like he knew it he was, was. going to hit it, and he just opted for the stage control. A lot of players would have gone for more. Especially uh, the last couple of weeks, Twan has had, I think, four SDs because he went too hard off stage yeah, so with the ladder combo. Is, maybe he is trying to. It's adaptation. Yep, exactly. Very good job by him, but Future with so much control already, and like I said, one dash attack away can end the stock. But Dude, I'm loving these retreating yep. short hop uh, down airs out of Twan. Yeah. They're just this. It's the space claim. Exactly. This is my space. And you, you cannot, cannot come to it. it. I really like the short hopping. Uh, by uh, future here because short hopping will make sure you don't get grabbed and will kind of get you out of that and up air killing. So, dude, honestly, future showing very good signs of life, concentrating, only thinking about the game. Oh well. Yeah. But honestly, a character like Meta Knight is a little bit like Ryu. The game's never over till it's over. So oh, uh, yeah. Can't really count him out yet. Being the down throw. Good job on the read. And is that going to be it? Yeah, that man. is it. Game is. Game is very, very close now. Oh no, Future probably not happy about that, honestly. It's kind of like the Bayo thing is you win so much, you get hit once you die. Oh, and really good. Oh. Really good. Such good DI by Future there. Getting out of that up air. But here it is, up air, up air. But if you see him falling out like that, it's because he is SDI. Yep. And that is really good recognition that he can get out by that. And Juan trying to read it, but. Really good. He got a second chance at life there because if he did not do that, he was definitely dead. So we have Ness at Old Future at a very big deficit here, but honestly, Ness hits hard. Yeah, absolutely. This, it's the classic Smash 4. This could go either way, yep. right? But like, especially with these two characters, this yeah. matchup is so volatile that literally a dash attack is dead. Yeah, right dash now. attack, like, grab, anything like that will lead to such bad, bad circumstances for the player that got hit. I mean, we got we got three and a half minutes for them to not approach. Exactly. Like, so and, we may and be we can't blame day. them. Like, that's, exactly. But here we go. It's like they know. Honestly, Future knows one dash tag and the talk coming out. One dash tag will end the stock, and he knows that one grab at the ledge will end his stock. Yeah. So honestly, both players just knowing, and even if he does, Future does get dash tag. Oh, uh, he's, one he's has to commit so much. Again. He's waiting for him to taunt again. Knows it. He knows it might happen, but I really want to see a run-up back roll to see his response to get a lot of information from just that. Yeah. But here we go. Just a patient neutral game. This is honestly this is a test of patience. I think Tuan is a little bit more patient than Future here. Well, I mean, the, the pressure is on Tuan, though. Yeah, exactly. Future has the lead. If the time runs out, it's Future on. wins. Yeah, exactly. So. So. Not a lot of time, but two minutes a lot for someone to get impatient. So. Good job, but honestly, I mean, people can complain, blah, 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 smash for slow, blah, blah, but you honestly, play to win. exactly, and oh, there you go, you see the breaking, but back to it. Really good shield by him, too, he tried to get behind him so he didn't have to overcommit off stage yeah. to get the upbeat, and Future just uh, shielding it, and oh, the grab, oh, and okay. uh, I don't know if you know why that happens, uh, if you dash grab someone, yep. with certain characters, uh, when you mash, you will get pushed off the stage just yep. like that, so. No death right there. Like I said, good base knock fast, but no growth. And now we see Future in such good position back there, going to not end the stock there. Wow, this is really getting down to the bottom. Oh, oh, oh such my god, he got the air dodge. Really good. All right. Really good back throw. I mean, very hard move to pull off. It's, uh, a, it's really, really difficult. <laughs> Honestly, all I have to say is how does Ness kill? If you think about it, he has no kill options. Got Nair. He's got back row. He's got up air. But if He's you listen to Future, attacks. Ness can't kill. Yeah, we're not picking on Future right now. We're not picking on Future right now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All He's love playing to his him. heart out. All love to him. He's an absolutely great player. He's as good as the guy. So. so now we have into FD again. Looks like that was definitely Twan's pick there. Yes, yes. 100%. So 
obviously if Sagey likes. And there we there go. go. Now he will, wow, really good SDI. And if you do get the up airs off stage, you will have to commit very hard. But you yeah. can get the nair as well. Uh, do really good. And, wow, no wow. SDI coming out from, from Twan, yeah. yeah. But it looks like, honestly, Future has a lot of control here. And I would have liked maybe to see a stage. Um, I would have liked to see a different stage. I think maybe because the FP didn't work out too well for that. Yeah, I think it's one of those things though where you convince yourself that it was you, not the stage. Yeah, that makes sense, and definitely. Especially in like a matchup that is as storied as these two. Yeah. It's very easy to just go, no, that was just me. Yeah. You know, yep, I definitely agree. You don't really want to give Nest Triplats. Yeah, wanna... you don't want to do anything like that. Or you can give him town because that bear will kill, so. Smash, Smash will gives him easier back throws. Yeah, like. honestly, I think this probably is the best stage. And that's one of those characters that no stage is a bad stage. Exactly. He doesn't um, have bad stages, he just has yeah. slightly less better stages. Yeah. Kind of like the Bayonetta, but. You too. Exactly. But here we go, we have. We just get the up there at zero into a grab. Yeah. That's so gross. And now we have still, like I said, you know, Twan even up that game fast last time. Get a. Okay, here we go. So he's trying to use a PK Thunder 1, keep him in the air, and uh, maybe catch him off guard with the PK Thunder 2. Oh, really good job by Future. Uh, went for the hit instead of just going for the ledge. Yeah. So that was a really good job by him. And I'm still living that up B. Oh, no. Yeah, he wait. went for the item, the yeah. random up smash. But oh, sometimes gosh. it hits, but most of the time not. And back there, probably going to end it here. Yep. Sadly, no. most of us are not Ido. Yeah. No pop off by Future. Really good reserve by him. Twan not looking too happy, but... All right.